Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about the top Excel productivity hacks. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for your quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master business analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and already expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find out a business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started with our one point agenda that is Excel productivity hacks. So in this particular productivity hacks tutorial, we will find out some hacks and shortcuts that will ease up your day-to-day -day life with Excel. Now without further delay, let's get started and open our spreadsheet with some data on it. So right now we are on the data set. So this particular data set is based on employee data. And uh, you can already see we have a lot of data. And uh, uh, if let's say you wanted to scroll down to find out a particular employee and uh, you can see I have the employee ID name designation department salary date of birth date of joining these are not moving those are stagnant right if you want to do that you can do that using the freeze option in the data set so you can do that by going to view select the column and click on freeze paints you can freeze the first row or the first column let's say we want to freeze both now your first column and first row are when frozen select that data first please so select the first column and first row and then freeze them and there you go you got them frozen frozen right and you can also unfreeze them and in this particular situation if you just want to freeze the row because we don't have much of the columns you can just freeze the first row and whenever you scroll down that particular row or the column header has been frozen now if you want to navigate all the way to the bottom using the arrow keys it might take a long while but there is a shortcut key which is control down arrow which will automatically take you to the bottom most cell and control arrow up to reach the first cell control arrow right to reach the last cell on the right side and left to reach the first cell and in case if you wanted to select the entire column then you can use the shortcut control shift down arrow key to do that right and uh, and after that let's also take a look at some of the more shortcuts available or productivity hacks that are more available if you want to select the entire table you can you know click on this particular icon which is over here which will select the entire cells in this particular table and if you want to select the entire table which has the data then you can just click anywhere in the table control a and the table got selected and uh, apart from that if you want to select a particular selection of cells then you can navigate using the shift key and holding the shift key you can just make use of the arrow keys to select that particular set of data sets and now moving ahead let's say there is a new entry to your data set someone joined here and you are adding the data to that particular employee and right and now if you want to add the designation see the designation is something which is always repeating right so you might have a, have to select a few options out of the available options right in such scenarios 
you might want to have a data validation type of shortcut right so let's say the data validation has not been created for your particular uh, data set right so uh, in this particular selection you don't have the data validation option if you see it's not there but if you want that option anyway then you can use the shortcut key combination that is alt down arrow key which will automatically give you the present options in your data set and you can select it same alt down arrow key and the department could be anything which you wanted him or her to put it so it support and you can also decide the salary that you have over here and the current date of joining or date of birth his date of birth you can let's say he was born in this body the same date and date of birth and uh, the date of joining is anything which is let's say this particular employee joined on the same day it's a previous employee there you go now let's move on to the next set of shortcuts now let's say you wanted to select a particular row right now let's say i wanted to select this uh, row number 16 then you have a shortcut for that as well click on that particular cell anywhere in, in the i mean anywhere in the row which you wanted to select and shift right arrow key sorry not right arrow key it is shift space bar and the entire row gets selected and now let's say i wanted to select the column now instead of shift use control and space bar to select the entire column so it is share a shift space to select the row control space to select the column now that was a pretty decent hack why did we do that because let's say you wanted to add a new entry in between 10,027 and 10,028 in such scenarios control space control shift plus to add a new row and control minus to remove that all right in the same way let's say you wanted to add a new column we know the shortcut to select the entire column which is control space now control shift plus to add a new column control minus to delete the existing columns right now moving ahead now, let's say you wanted to shift this particular row to a you know, top position somewhere to uh, in between five and seven you can click on this row number over here and hold the left arrow key right uh, and that's when this particular entire uh, row gets selected and then you can see a new type of cursor over here just hold and drag it to fifth and in between fifth and seven replace it or you can even you can replace it or you can just uh, cancel and you can just move it so this is how it's done shift space bar and you can see this over here you can move it and you can have it in between six and eight right so the those are the two hacks if you want to remove that particular existing you can you can do the previous method if you want to place it in between then you can just shift space and you can use this particular one and place it between somewhere right and moving ahead the next uh, hack is let's say uh, you wanted uh, let's say you're parallelly working with another employee or your team and uh, you wanted to leave a comment for him right so there is a shortcut key for that as well control sorry not control it's the combination of shift plus f2 which will okay function f2 which will start up a new comment with your name over there and you can just tell your colleague please check it you know please, uh, can you please check it right so it's it's a way right and it will be highlighted whenever someone hovers onto it it will give you the uh, comment let's control c and remove that comment now let's proceed now the next hack is let's say so now we have 30 or 32 rows for now so it's not a big deal let's say we have 10,000 rows and you wanted to go to row number let's say 21 so we have the shortcut keys which is control down arrow which will take you all the way to down control right which will take you all the way to right but if you wanted to go to any cell between the cells the end cells how to do it let's say i wanted to go to 
D18. How can I do it? So let's get back to uh, this particular first cell. Now control G and you can now add the reference cell D18. You can see the control went to D18 directly over here. So that's another shortcut or another hack that you might want to use in your day-to-day -day life. Now proceeding ahead, let's say I'll try to add a new column here. Control shift plus copy control V. Let's say I want to add another one. Right. So let's say, let's consider these as the first names and the, you know, escape. So let's say these are the first names and these are the last names. And I want to combine them both, right? So it can be done equals concat. I have to press the function cell one and the send. And you might want to add a space in between ampersand and c2 there you go now you can just control e now double click on them and this will be added and uh, now if you wanted to split that it's really simple you can add another column in between shortcut control space control shift plus to add a new column you wanted to add the first name and only if you press ctrl e it will fill all the first names here and ctrl e it will fill all the second names over here that is called the flash fill in excel which could be a good uh, way for you to save time separating the first names and the last names and you can also use another technique which is text uh, to columns that is another technique to spread the first names and the second names based on uh, you know, uh, symbol which is separating them. It can be a comma, it can be a pipeline, it can be space or any special symbol. So you can that, use that as well. Okay, let's go to the sheet two and here uh, let's remove these columns. Now it's taking a little time. Okay, not 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 a problem. The previous sheet got crashed. So let's delete these columns. Columns. Delete. Now, uh, let's say I want to copy these values and add somewhere else, somewhere over here. Right. So you can see the numbers are not same. Here we have 11,900 and here we have 10,000, which is the actual value which is present in column C. So what's happening here? So if you double click it, you can find the values are based on a formula. So it is giving me the value of this particular input, but not the final cell. So in such scenarios, what can I do? Right, Control C. Now I think you have already copied the cells, right? Now instead of just pasting them using Control V, you can use a combination of keys, which happens to be Control Shift V, which will paste the values only, regardless of the formula being used in the background. So this is another hack, and. Uh, proceed with a few more now let's discuss the last one now we know that this is the salary detail right now if you want to format this in terms of rupees or dollars you have a shortcut just control press one right this will open the formatting cells option go to anyone which is currency you can you can go to currency or you can go to custom so for now by default based on location is giving me rupee but if you want american dollars you can also do that which should be somewhere here or you can search for it let's say dollar you have the canadian dollars over here i think that will do and press ok and there you go you have the dollar symbol and with that we have come to end of the session on the most uh, commonly used uh, excel productivity hacks and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you want us to cover a few more productivity hacks or if you want a cheat sheet which has all the productivity hacks that we use in our day-to-day -day data analytics in our team 
then you could let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to let you know all the details in a short period of time and with that thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from simply one hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here